Might not have been your moment back then, but certainly was his day. Yeah, baby. I smoked. That's the biggest buck I've seen, I tell you what. Words can only say it. Thank you. Thank you. We're back in Illinois at the Grigsby Farm. It's still shotgun one last day of the season, but last week on Savage Outdoors, we killed two awesome deer. Jamie kills high and tight, stud deer, right at 170 with an eight point frame. They just don't get a whole lot bigger than that deer. Big six year old deer. You own him? All right, here we go. Yeah, baby. I smoked him. That's the biggest buck I've seen, I tell you what. Out walked some deer. I've never seen that deer before. He is huge. I just put the smack down on him with this savage 20 gauge slug. This deer that Jamie killed high and tight, I mean, we've got a ton of history. We've known this deer for three years. He's had that same, you know, basically no spread, and the beams come all the way around and almost touch, but he jumped 20 inches from last year. Amazing. And that's what's so awesome about hunting this farm. You just never know what's going to walk out. Yeah. That's high and tight. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Talked about that deer for two years and he grew this year, Jamie. Oh my gosh, look at that. that. 20 Dick inches it. on that deer this year. And that's why if you if you can, and like we're lucky here, we have a big enough place we can kind of control it, let them live one more year and look what happens. Oh my gosh. Deer. I've been passing a lot of 10 year old, three year olds. I like, oh my goodness. He's passing 10 year olds. Look how excited he is. He's sitting there saying 10 year olds, he missed 10 points. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's a 170 inch buck. We decided to stick it out. I was going to try to go somewhere else. We went back and forth and stuck it out. I told you to sit here. I mean, let's just run it through the mind real quick. So call it 26, 36, 40, 50, 60, 70, 90, 114, 15 is 129, and 40, it's 169. But well, we're flipping back a day because I killed my deer on the first day. Jamie actually killed on the second day. And day one of shotgun season, the weather was awful. Super high winds, crazy cold. I don't have enough clothes on. We're freezing. There's a buck right here. Right here. Real close. I can't, don't move, don't move. There's a bunch of does coming up behind him. Get my gun out of Are 
pretty pretty good. I normally don't shoot a deer facing me like that, but he was only 30 yards away. And he knew something wasn't right. Our wind is blowing right at him. If it wasn't blowing this hard, I don't think we could have pulled that off. There were a bunch of deer coming across the ridge and I saw, I saw them and then looked down. He was standing right there. We got him, dude. It's nerves and I'm just that damn cold. Because <laughs> when we came out here today, it was 55 degrees. It's probably high 30s with a 40 mile an hour wind right now. And I don't have enough clothes on saw that deer earlier this afternoon man i got some history with him we've had encounters and i got a ton of trail cam pictures of him he broke that brow tine off this summer and damaged that tine in velvet i got some pictures of him in velvet like that man not a bad illinois deer and i talk about it all the time the grigsby's definitely one of the best whitetail properties in the country but it don't matter where you hunt you're always going to have manager bucks kill and this is one of them we had said earlier in the year we we're going to kill these deer if we see them and he came and got way too close to my stand tonight. <laughs> Man, I'm still pumped though. Good deer, good way to finish my season. I'm tagged out in Illinois, other than killing some does. I gotta do my part on that. Now, Jamie and Randy, they just get to hunt in these super high winds and it's supposed to be even colder tomorrow. So I'm kind of glad I don't have to get up in the morning. Man, look at that deer, not bad. All right, Uncle Randy's up. He's still got his tag. Shotgun season. We're at the Grigsby. Randy, it's time to kill a deer. Second day of shotgun, Randy goes back to the stand that I actually killed my deer out of and sits there all day. Puts in a brutal sit because all day, super cold, temperatures never got above 20 and the wind was blowing hard all day. He sucked it up. If you look at the pictures, the bucks are there. They're hitting that corn patch. It's gonna happen. He put the time in and big buck just didn't show. One more day, Randy's gonna get one.
actually sending out Morse code that he has seen us in a dream, and that's why we're not seeing nothing. It's woodpecker season. I think the cold weather is getting to Randy a little bit. Now he's talking about woodpeckers sending Morse code to the deer. We need a doctor. Jamie, can you help? Total weather change now. Winds are at a different direction. So Randy's got to switch it up. He wants to just go to a whole new area. This is where Randy spent a lot of his time during the bow season. He knows about some of the big bucks that are in there. And now later in the season, we're having some new bucks show up. Last day, he has to get one today if he's going to get one on Shotgun One. We're running out of time and Jamie and I are starting to feel bad for Uncle Randy. He's put in his time. He's hunted as hard as we have, if not harder. Bow season now into shotgun season. Man, I just don't know if one's gonna show. Holy cow, he's down, he's down right there. The curse has been lifted. I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't care. All of a sudden down there at the head of the draw, I seen antlers and I said, he couldn't get on him right there, I was on him. And then we, <laughs> it just happened. It, he walked right there and <sighs> thank you. Thank you for lifting the curse. That's a long time coming. When I hit him, I mean, I seen, I seen it fly and the blood was pumping out of him. It is fun to watch when Uncle Randy's got that kind of smile on his face. Nobody has hunted harder. Nobody has put in more time. Nobody's had as many chances either. He just hadn't been able to seal the deal. But you could see the relief on his face when that buck, not only did he know that he hit him good, but he watched him go down 
and he just looks up like, thank you. <laughs> he needed that lifted off his shoulders. Great deer. It's the kicker 10. We know this buck. Big mature deer. He's going to score good and he's going to look good in Uncle Randy's man room. Let's go down and check him out. Watching him fall out his deer. He's right there. He didn't go far at all. He's down. Gun's clear. Man, oh man. Look at this. What a deer up here in Illinois. It took me three days, took me three weeks of bow hunting. But this one right here, he's got a place in the man room, that's for sure. That's a deer. Wow, congratulations Uncle Randy on an amazing deer. Uh, it just kind of rounds off an awesome season here at the Grigsby Farm. I want to say thank you to the Grigsby family for allowing us to be a part of what they do here. It's an amazing operation first-class, top-notch farming operation. And because of that, the wildlife is amazing. And then we get to play a small role in helping manage the wildlife. We have a ton of fun here. I love this property. And it's one of the best whitetail properties in the country, period. Randy, big buck, man. I'm glad for you. Congrats. Thanks for watching Savage Outdoors. We'll see you next week.